Hi guys, my name is Debbie and I'm an intuitive reader as well as a medium here and I'm here to give some type of messages from beyond. Hopefully this does help and resonate for whomever this is meant for. Let's get into it here. If you do like the paranormal, do check on out my new book, Accepting the Gift. It's coming up to be about a year. Can't really say new anymore. Uh, November, I think it is. That I uh, published that. I am feeling this is a male energy. I do feel that they are married. I feel that there's a lot of regret, a lot of missing, a lot of things that they would have done different. I don't feel that they were a bad husband, okay, by any means, by no means, actually. I feel that they love their family. They did, did have kids as well. They He was a hard worker here. You can see that uh, outside the home, okay. Uh, but I, I definitely feel that there's a, like a lot more that he wanted to accomplish here before uh, I literally heard something went topsy-turvy. Haven't said that in a while, that expression. I, I feel like I literally heard I wish that I had them back, okay? Uh, everything, I feel that this came on suddenly with their passing here. He didn't have a time to... It's funny the way that he's saying this. It's like, I didn't have time to explain. Now that could resonate. Uh, but what I really feel is like, kind of like saying, well, uh, I didn't say goodbye. You know, I didn't go the way that I pictured I would, you know, not that we all picture how we're going. Uh, but like, you know what I mean? It's kind of like, this is not what I expected, you know, with how I was going to go. I thought I could at least say goodbye, you know? So I feel that energy of it coming quickly here, this uh, passing. Yeah, he still feels like he had more to do or things to say here, but on the upside... Uh, the Death card and the Nine of Cups, he is happy on the other side. But every once in a while, it irks him. <laughs> you know, it kind of irritates him a little bit. I don't see a lot of spirits, like, getting mad or anything. I just feel like, I just heard unjust. Okay, he's got, he's he's pointing that out. I, and that tone changed. All right, so he's a little irky. <laughs> is that a word? Uh, it, he was definitely a you know, upset about it, okay, of how fast here, okay, yeah, I, ha I, I do feel that he's definitely surrounded by friends and family, more so family here, okay, I just heard grandmother, his grandmother, I just heard that, <laughs> I literally heard, let me see who else is up here, <laughs> He's kind of funny. Uh, but yeah, like he's kind of curious now. He ran into somebody that he knows and he's like, wow, is it that easy? Like this is wild, you know, energy here. He's trying to refrain uh, from seeing all the people that passed before him. So it's kind of like a reunion, like a really happy reunion that he's going through uh, when he first reached there. Well, the first time he, you know, the, the when he was first there, I should say he was a little frustrated. But then he ran into somebody like a grandmother, a family figure. I'm feeling grandmother big time. Uh, but yeah, so now he's on to other people and checking out the scene and seeing who else he can run into here. But now he's trying to kind of chill out, you know, and not, not act so uh, excited to be reunited with everybody. You know, he, he was just in this state of astonishment, you know, uh, that he was in shock here. He now, okay, as time has moved on, and as we all know, you know, uh, there's no such thing as time on the other side, so I don't even know why I felt that to say that. Uh, but definitely, as there was more movement uh, along with time, uh, I do feel that he is more settled here. He understands, you know, it doesn't mean that he doesn't miss home. I just heard home. People of the home, okay. Boy, but you could tell that shift of his uh, energy and the, the voice uh, was kind of, wow. 
you know, it was, it needed to be said in regards to, no, I was not happy that I was not justified here. Uh, so definitely that. So he does feel, uh, your energy. I feel this is his, uh, wife. Okay. He did call her princess. I heard princess. Okay. Uh, but he likes your feistiness. I did hear that as well. You know, uh, <laughs> I literally heard him say, she knows I have a little bit of a temper, but she's used to me, you know. I do feel that you two are twin flames, okay, meaning that you kind of even out each other's energies, you balance each other really well, okay. Uh, I literally heard, uh, you know, I just heard Joseph, that was weird. Uh, so this could be for uh, Joseph that passed away. Joseph, you better, you, you better be good over there. <laughs> That's coming from the wife. That's cute. I almost feel it's like an Italian family. Like, it, um, I, I had a, here's a prime example, story time. They show me stories. It resonates generally. I had this one couple that they were my next door neighbors, Fred and Flo. Fred and Flo. Just go with the names and you could tell that they were meant to be. <laughs> uh, but they were so cute and they would talk. They there was no even interrupting. Nobody heard each other because they just talked at the same time. And when they did hear each other, they just bickered and yelled at each other. But but yet they would, it, they weren't mad at each other. That's just the way that they communicated. <laughs> so, <laughs> they were so wild. I just adored them. I'm, I'm sure they passed, you know, because they were probably in their 70s. And this is good 30 years ago, you know. Uh, but definitely, uh, God bless them. <laughs> they were great people. Uh, but that's what I'm kind of feeling. Either they, um, the wife here and the husband either talked over each other is what I'm feeling like Fred and Flo, or, uh, you know, you go at it and like bickering at a higher level of speech, <laughs> kind of yelling a little bit, but this was normal. This wasn't being mean to each other. You just did this, you know? So, so she kind of knows, or you kind of know him and his energy of you better behave yourself over there kind of thing. I feel like he's saying, I am, I am, but he's really not. <laughs> I'm just saying, uh, the higher funds hand, uh, he still gets a little irritated even on the other side, but he knows that you're right. I just heard he knows you're right. What a cute couple. I feel like you pray. You call it praying. Uh, this is for the wife here, but it's basically talking, okay, is what I'm picking up here. And he does hear you. He knows that you think of him more so at night, I feel, and talk to him. I feel like there's some type of, like, saying your prayers, and his name is included. Now, it could be Joseph, because I did hear that, but uh, regardless of name, I just feel like when you need that inner strength and that somebody to be around you, you call him in and he is right there. He loves you. You, it, it, you guys have such a cute relationship with the whole communication because I can, uh, I mean, I, I was good friends with my neighbors, you know, and they, they never fought, but yet you would think that they were. <laughs> so... I don't feel that these two were, um, I, I feel like they were probably about, or he was about my age. He's making me feel 40, 40, 40, but I think he's fibbing. I, I don't <laughs> hate to say that. I mean, he does look younger, but in the same sense, I do feel that he's not, um, he, he's not young. He's not overly young. Okay. Like 29 or anything that for me to feel that and say that and being cautious like that for having my butt kicked. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, but you know, he, he's firm with his voice. You know, you gotta watch what you say in front of him or else he might kind of not flip on you, but he will let you know, you know, he will definitely let you know. Uh, but yeah, and, uh, I just feel like maybe he was a little sensitive with his age and getting up in years kind of thing. That's what I'm feeling. So, uh, but regardless of age, I do feel that he still loves you. He still watches over you. Oops. Okay. There's a few different messages here I'm picking up. I'm feeling that 
you still got it. You This is for the wife. You still got it. You still got the spunkiness. I feel like you um, were a, a, or are a housewife here, okay? Uh, and I feel that when you get older, okay, that uh, he expects the kids to help you out. He's spunky, okay? Make sure you tell them. That's what I heard. Boy. <laughs> I think we could be friends. I really do. I'm just saying. Uh, but yeah, I do feel that there's upcoming decisions that you're going to have to make, you know, choices here. But I feel that it's for the better. What I'm feeling here is that, you know, I don't feel like you, oh, I don't feel like you're going to be moving into your own place. I feel that you're going to be living with one of your kids. That's what I'm feeling. I literally heard they better take responsibility. Boy, he was a ball, you know, a, um, you, you know, he, he was in charge. <laughs> I had to correct my words there for a second. Yeah, he really threw it, you know, like he, he, he was in charge, you know, you didn't mess with him. Uh, but yeah, I raised him good. Oh, now see, he's smiling. He does have a soft side, <laughs> but usually it's that, uh, that toughness. I mean, I, it's funny because I was just thinking that too. Um, uh, I'm agreeing with him, what he just said. Uh, I wouldn't get, there wouldn't get anything done. It Nothing would get done if I wasn't this way. You know what I mean? So uh, you could have been in the military too, because they're showing me the Marines. That that could be something too there. Uh, but regardless, I feel that um, he is on the other side. It did come as a shock to him, meaning that uh, it did come suddenly here, you know, thinking that uh, he wanted more out of his life. You know, that daddy didn't treasure everything that did take place here, but I feel like he just misses his wife greatly, okay? Uh, he does love her, absolutely, okay? He's, aw. Is he a Pisces? <laughs> I just feel Pisces with all these cups here. Uh, but I feel that don't, you know, uh, I, I'm not, I might not be physically here, but I'm in your mind, heart, and soul, I heard. That's nice. See, he does have a soft spot. That's beautiful. I love that. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> I just heard don't tell. He has to have that gruff, you know, uh, attitude, you know? And there's nothing wrong with that. That's just the way he is. But he is a big salty. He reminds, oh, you know why? Why I just thought of Pisces. There was this guy that I, well, he still lives in my development. But he's this big, muscled, like, long hair. Like, not the stereo, but he was he was buff and he was a, he used to be a bouncer. All right. He's got all the, the tattoos and the muscles and oh my gosh. But deep, deep down, I, I could see right through that tough exterior, you know, of him. And he was a big softy. He was a teddy bear. I actually told the big brute. <laughs> this guy was, he was scary looking, but not him. But like, anyway, so he shows that like gruffness, but he's really a soft teddy bear inside. And I said, what are you? I don't mind if I say his name. I'm not going to say his last name, but what are you, Gary? What, what's your, uh, what's your Zodiac sign? He goes, what are you talking about? Like, he just looked at me weird. And he gave me his birthday and I was like, you're a Pisces. <laughs> I was like, you big mush. <laughs> but yeah. Anyway, that made me, he's making me smile over there. You have Leo, you also have Capricorn, but he's not a bad person. You know, he had a hard life, definitely. And he's still there being supportive, even on the other side, okay? As well as his past, his past loved one, you know, his uh, past loved ones on the other side, as well as his children, his wife, he's, you know, absolutely loves. He will always love, okay? Whenever there's a... Uh, you know, you need that decision made in your life. He's still there for you. Don't don't ever forget that. That's for sure. But wow, comment down below. <laughs> this resonates because I get it. I get it. He's a combination of Fred and Flo and Gary. <laughs> uh, he's just great. What a great energy. I could see me uh, laughing along with him, but know my boundaries as well. <laughs> so... Thank you all for watching. I do appreciate it as always. Don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button. 
definitely does help my uh, channel. On my new channel, if you are watching this on there, Messages from Loved Ones, we're doing a giveaway. 500 subscribers will reach, and before Deb does a giveaway of the new book, Accepting the Gift, it's a great book. Do check it out. Tis the season uh, for Halloween coming up, too. What a great gift idea, and just great to have around to read around this time. Thanks, guys, for watching. Have a good one, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.